Hi, my name is Yogesh Prabhu and in this video, we will be solving this particular question. Now, while I solve this question, I will also explain to you how do you solve a double integration uh, that is given in the polar form. So if you see here, this is completely written in terms of r and theta and not x and y. So this is a polar form. Also, you will notice that the limit of integrations are not given. So limits you to find out and to find out the limits of integration, they have mentioned the region. The region is between two circles, r is equal to two sin theta and r is equal to four sin theta. So let's get started. Let's solve this question, see how it works. Now, well, uh, here to, to figure out the region, we have to draw the diagram. So let me draw the diagram quickly. Well, uh, this is X axis and this is Y axis is the first mistake because there is no X and no Y axis. So don't ever do that. So no X, no nothing, no X and Y. It's R and theta. And what is R? R is distance from origin. Origin is supposed to be the pole and theta is the angle with a positive x like this is theta zero, this is theta pi by two, and this is theta pi. Now, when you have r is equal to two sine theta, now there is a standard formula that if you have r is equal to a sine theta, let me just write down here, r is equal to a sine theta is a circle like this over here. And the other standard formula, if you have r is equal to a cos theta, then it is a circle like this. You should know this. And in both these cases, the diameter is A. R sine theta will be a circle above your X axis, which is like this. And diameter along Y axis. And R equal to A cos theta is a circle along X axis, touching Y axis, like this. So both our circles are from are, are this type okay so let me draw them one by one uh, first circle r is equal to 2 sin theta and i'm going to draw this one which will have diameter as 2 so the radius of this is going to be 1 so see how it goes uh, it's going to be say let me mark them 1 2 3 4 so this has got diameter 2 so diameter 2 goes like this and then see how i draw the circle anyways 1 and 2 so this is the box of 2 by 2 Okay, so my circle is going to be this, uh, not all that bad. Anyway, so I got the first diagram here and this is a circle 2 sin theta. So let me write down the, the equation of this as well. The equation of this is r is equal to 2 sin theta, the first circle. Now let me quickly draw r is equal to 4 sin theta as well. r is equal to 4 sin theta is a circle with a diameter 4. So now this diameter is 4. So approximately this, 3, 4. So three, four. yeah, that approximately looks like a, four by, uh, a square of 4 by 4. Now within that square, I'll draw the other circle. The other circle is going to be this. Anyways, and now the integral is to be evaluated over the region between the blue and red circle, which is the clearly this region. Anyways, let me write down the equation of red circle also. So this is r is equal to 4 sine theta. And now I want the area between these two circles. Let me shade the area quickly. So this is the entire area that we're talking about. Okay, so, and, and, and we want to evaluate area between these two. Now, to, when you have a, when you have, equ when you have integration in polar form, uh, you will have to take a strip, but now that this time the strip is going to be a radial strip. So now let me draw a radial strip. Radial strip is, is, is like this. It's going to be this dotted and we'll go like this. That's like the radial strip. Now radial strip will always be hinged at origin over here. And it is, it is going to move like this. So it will have this movement like this. Now, if you, if you look at the range of this strip in terms of theta, 
the lowest it can come is here. So now the lowest is theta equal to zero. And now to solve this, I'm going to take this as a, this is going to be theta is equal to pi by two. And then we can simply double it. So if I find from theta is equal to pi by two, and if I double it, I will consider that entire area anyways. And that's how my limits of theta are going to be from zero to pi by two and double of that. So, well, so let us call the given integration I that I will have theta going from zero to pi by two and you should write double or you can take zero to pi and then there is no double, of course. So now this is better. Anyway, so I've got zero to pi by two and I doubled it as well. Now we have to find out the inner limits and inner limits are of R. How do we find inner limits of R? R lower is the lower end of the strip. And lower end of the strip, whenever it, wherever it goes, it's, it's moving, it's not fixed. Wherever it goes, it's going to be still two sine theta. So R lower is going to be two sine theta. The lower end of the strip is a blue circle. And the upper end of the strip is R upper is going to be four sine theta, the red circle. You see that upper end, this is R upper. So now I figured out the value of lower and upper limit of R and theta both. And now the integration is just R cube with dr. You will integrate r first, and then later on we will integrate d theta. So let's get so let's let's solve this one. I is going to be two double integration theta equal to zero to pi by two. Now integration of r cube is going to be r raised to four upon four, and that will go from two sine theta to four sine theta and d theta. Now let me quickly solve this question for you. Uh, well, that take that four out, so you will get i is equal to one by two. Now integration theta will go from zero to pi by two and uh, substitute the values here. For R you'll put upper limit four sine theta and lower limit two sine theta. So you get four sine theta raised to four minus lower limit will be two sine theta raised to four and D theta as well. Okay. And we have to solve this. So this is I is half integral theta equal to zero to pi by two, four raised to four, four square would be 16. Four raised to four is two raised to, it's 256, right? 256 sine raised to four theta minus 16 sine raised to four theta d theta. Well, I can just subtract the two. So 256 minus 16 is 240 sine raised to four theta. I is 240, there is half outside, integral theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2, this is sine raised to 4 theta, d theta, there you go. Now once you write like this, you can clearly see that there is no cos theta, I can write cos theta raised to 0, and now this is perfect formula for beta. So once, once you get it in the right form, you can just call it beta, so this will be I, now 240 by 2 is going to be 120, and this is beta, well, this is zero. So zero plus one by two. It's a standard formula for of beta function. Comma, this is four plus one by two. And that's beta half. This is 120. Or oh, there is half as well, right? There is half as well, right? So this is 120 by two beta half comma five by two. That's a standard formula I've used anyways. And then you can simplify this more. 120 by two. This will become gamma half gamma phi by 2 upon gamma half plus phi by 2 which is 6 by 2 and that's going to be 3. Gamma 3 is nothing but 2 factorial. 2 factorial is equal to 2 anyways. 2 2 are 4 so 2 6 are 12. 60 2 30. So now this becomes i the integral. The value of integral i would be 30. Uh, this is gamma half and you simplify gamma phi by 2 which is 5 by 2 minus 1, I'll get 3 by 2. 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2. And repeat gamma half again. <coughs> and then this just like cancelled out everything. So that's just 1. And uh, since gamma half, the value of gamma half is root pi, gamma half square would be pi. I'll get i is equal to 30 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 root pi square. So i is equal to to 15 is 30, 15 3 is 45, 45 pi by 2 and that's the final answer for this integration. I hope you followed 
how it is solved this is the question of solve of for for double integration of radial form where you have this in terms of r and theta 